Hello YouTube, it is raining today and I need to work on my truck very badly because it is not running. So, if you may have noticed, I am not getting rained on right now. That is because I have crafted myself a little tent. Now I can work in the rain. Um, so I did figure out what the exact problem was, and you can probably criticize me because I'm an idiot. That I didn't figure this out earlier. But it's the water pump, and I'm sure a bunch of other people already knew that. But I did not, because I didn't know what the hell a water pump, where, where it even was. So, first thing I need to do is take off this fan. So what I'm going to do is get an adjustable, which I have, but it's not big enough, so I'm going to run to my dad's house. Pick up a bigger one. Get it on that bolt there. Leave the belt on when you do this. So that the pulley doesn't move. It's easier to get off. So get it on there. Whack it with a hammer. Hopefully it'll come off. Remove the pulley and all that good stuff. I think the pump's only on with like six bolts. Take those off. Put the new bolts on. Well, new, new gaskets on. Put the new pump on. And... It, should be as easy as that. Of course, it's me, so it'll take all day. But, I gotta do it. No matter how long it takes. Okay, so I got the fan off. I didn't t pull it all the way off because I wanted to show you this. But you just take the adjustable wrench, slide it on there. It will, the pulleys and everything will move when you hit it. But you just give it a couple, a good whack. You might have to do it a couple times, just because if you miss or something, but it's not good enough. But once you give it the good whack, it will fall all the way down like that. And that's how you know it's off. You just pull the wrench off, obviously. Spin the fan. And that nut backs off. That nut didn't move before. Now it's backing off. Now... I'm pretty sure it's the time that you remove the belt. So you take your 3 inch drive socket, 3 8 that's the wrong way. Put it in the little notch in the tensioner. Crank the fucker and pull the belt off. I take it off at the idler, the idling one. What do we call it, the idle pulley? That's the easiest. Uh, so now, I'm going to say that we take these off. Yeah. Let's take this off. So these are 10 millimeter. Right now I'm in the process of pulling off the lower radiator hose. Just got to kind of wiggle it off. Probably should have drained out the coolant, but I didn't. Because I'm lazy and it's raining out. And it's Sunday. And I want to get this fucking done. Here it comes. Well, that's practically just as good as draining it. Just let that drip on out of there. Probably turn this upside down and get some out of here, too. Turn that hose. Get that out of that hose. Uh, now I should just start unbolting this thing, I assume. Uh, take off some more valves, I think, though. Take off some more stuff here, there, somewhere. 
I don't know, I'll figure it out. Okay, so I got the water pump unbolted. You have a bolt in here, one in there, then one right below it, and then same thing on the other side, one right there, and then on the other side of that metal is a bolt. So it's four bolts, two hoses, this hose down here, I haven't disconnected this one yet, but it's free. So I'm just going to pull that out, take off that hose, and I'll show you what it looks like. So, hold on a minute, will ya? So there is the water pump. I need to pull this off because you don't get any one of these, obviously. But there it is. Haven't even looked around the back of this thing yet. Holy shit. Oh, that's just gone. Never mind. It's the seal. Old seal. Uh, maybe I'll take this apart just for fun. Doubt it, though, because I don't feel like it. Maybe someday. So that's that's it. That's your water pump. Still has fucking cooling in it. Uh, this is where it was. Obviously, the big open spot in the engine. Um, there's one and two. All right, let me show you the new one. And my toolbox and shit over here. This is actually a nice toolbox. The Husky toolbox there. From Home Depot has three drawers in the front. They're all locked when this is closed, so they don't open and shit. Pretty good one. The only my only complaint about this toolbox is that it has slick bottoms on it, like the drawers and everything, so everything just moves around. I think if you spend more money, you can get a toolbox similar to this, and it has foam on the bottom. It's also made by Husky. This is my bro brother's car. He's in college. You can't bring it with him. He's a freshman. Oh, fuck. The other day I left the keys in it. So here's the new one. There she is, all clean. This is not remanufactured like my power steering pump is. This is brand spanking new. So I'm going to throw this one on there, and I'll tell you how it goes. So I got the old pulley off, put it on the new pump. There it is. Now I'm going to take this ultra black gasket sealer, put it on each one of those inlets, outlets, whatever you want to call them. Put it on the other ends of these as well. Then put the gaskets on and bolt it up almost all finger tight. And then, to let the gasket sealer uh, dry, then you crank it down. So I'm going to do that, and uh, I'll check up with you guys after that's all done. So I got... Hold on. That made it worse. Hold on a second here. I don't know if that's better. So I got the new pump on. It's snugged up right now, just snug, because I need to let that gasket sealer dry. While I'm letting it dry, I'm going to put all the hoses back on and pretty much get it ready to just tighten down and put on the fan, and then it'll be done. So after I get the fan back on, I'll give you an update again. Okay, so everything is all back together everything this is back on I did the reverse thing where as when I took it off when I hit it with the hammer I just hit it with the hammer this way just to see make sure it locked I don't know if it actually did anything but you know couldn't hurt I did take this off when I did the work I don't know if you noticed that I just put it back on that's a half inch socket uh, got all my hoses back on Everything's tightened up. Just going to add some coolant and get ready for the moment of truth. So uh, next video clip you'll see, I'll probably have it running. Alright. Well, here we go. Hello, YouTube. <clears throat> I am making a video today. As you can see, I kind of have my engine a little torn apart. <clears throat> There's, these are my valves.